Hey, Captain Taylor here with SaltyScales.com. Today we're going to be doing a walkthrough of my new Red Fisher 18. So I want to take you through it and explain to you why I think this is the best flat skiff for the money and the most versatile. So let's get to it and I'll show you what I love about her. Oh, speak of the devil. There she goes now. Hey, hey, come back here. One of the cool features that I love about this boat, guys, is the new i5 motor guide. Uh, it's electric steer. And as you can see, I'm maneuvering it. And it's just going about its business out there. Let me pull it up here and we'll do the walkthrough. All right, so first things you notice is this expansive deck. It has plenty of clearance for your fly line, for your casting purposes. You could fit two to three anglers up here and make uh, casts from all different angles without being in each other's way. You'll notice that all of the fittings and all the things on the deck are actually flush mounted so that way you're not snagging. You can add a casting platform up here to get up so that way your view is not obscured and it enhances your view. And as you strip your fly line, you could put it in a basket or you could just let it lay right here on the deck. An optional feature that you can have placed onto the boat, guys, is the Motor Guide i5 series. It's the 80 pound uh, thrust 24 volt series. And it's a super powerful motor that'll gracefully pull and maneuver this particular boat around with no problems. It's also electric steer by remote, so it gives you, enhances that ability to take your hands, you know, where you're not bending down and so forth. You could literally push the buttons and make it go where you want. It also comes with an optional foot pedal for you bass fishermen that'll allow you to maneuver with your foot while you make those great casts. All right guys, so one thing you'll notice is on the 2016-2017 model, they eliminated the anchor lock hatch that used to be up here. So now it all goes into this one large hatch. Let me show you this here. And this is where your anchor actually stores. It's got an anchor, an anchor hanger right there. Um, if you have a small enough anchor and it'll just hang there. So one thing you'll notice with the new 2016-2017 Hughes is on this backrest, they actually cut a hole in the center console so you can have easy access to your batteries, inverters, and any other electronics that you may have in there. In the previous models, it's very difficult to get to these and swap them out. So this is very convenient. And it's a nice high quality leather, super comfortable to sit on. And you'll notice that they also added the, um, the cushion onto the ingle cooler with snaps. That's very popular with the Yetis and some of the other cooler brands as well. The ingle cooler is actually a pretty high end quality cooler. Um, it actually holds ice for up to five days, which was pretty surprising to me. So that's a great feature. And it just locks down to the deck of the boat so it doesn't move, but it gives you the convenience factor that if you did want to move it, you just unhook it, unpin it, and you could take it out and clean your cooler. All right, so the boat is 18 foot 11 inches in length and it has a dry weight of 1900 pounds. Um, the fuel tank actually is 31 gallons. So, I mean, you could put a lot of fuel in this little boat and it just sips fuel. So you could really run a long distance and it, it really, that 115 Yamaha really preserves fuel. So that's a great thing. Um, also, the max horsepower for this particular boat is 150 horsepower. I went with the 115 Yamaha show due to, uh, obviously my main objective was to float shallow, get there fast, but float shallow, shallow enough to where I could get back to where I want to go and not have an issue. When you add that additional weight, you lose a few inches of, of draft. So this particular boat is rated for four persons or 550 pounds, whichever comes first. Um, I mean, you don't want to try to overdo it, guys. Four people, this boat fits comfortably. You could fish comfortably with three people, but it's best with two people. Uh, the dead rise is about 13 degrees, and it has a beam, huge wide beam, of 7 foot 11 inches. And that's one of the things that really make this platform super stable. So the wide beam on this boat really allows, and I'm 190 pounds, really allows for super stabilization. And you can see, you want to fish, you know, you're fishing through here, you're walking by here, and you can see how the boat hardly tilted either direction. That is a key feature when fishing on this platform. 
So moving forward to the dash here, you're gonna see that we have the Garmin GPS Map 741 XS, which is all touchscreen. Super great platform, guys. The clarity and the functionality of this thing, it does more than I even know. Um, I probably haven't even scratched the surface of all the great benefits. With the steering, oh, by the way, I wrapped this with the paracord. Um, the steering wheel came with the Edison knob, which really allows you know, for easy movement when steering. But I wrapped this with the paracord. I'll link the video here so you can see it. And this has the tilt steering. So if you want to move this up and down or adjust it, you can. Okay, so you'll notice here with all the switches, we have a fused uh, switchboard and all of these are waterproof as well. This connects to all your builds, your live well one, release well, courtesy lights, horn, and so forth. Um, over here, turning on, the unit you'll see that the Yamaha gauges are all electronic this is a pretty neat feature uh, it shows you everything that you need you know your tilt your fuel uh, battery temperature and so forth and it's all electronic tracks your hours just like the old uh, standard gauges would do you have your port side and starboard side Linko trim tabs with the quick push of these buttons you can allocate if there's weight distributed on the boat to one side or the other you can adjust these trim tabs to even out the boat so that way you get a smooth and comfortable ride and a dry ride. That's important. I had this after uh, installed aftermarket by James with Roadshop Marine. This is the Fusion Link, the NRX 200i, equipped with JL Audio speakers. This little system is great, guys, and it interconnects with the Garmin here, so you technically don't even need this face. Uh, or this remote. You can actually just work the whole unit off of the garment if you wanted to. I added it just, you know, for convenience and that's what we have here. I had the push pull or the power pull up and down button here. This is just taped on and I also have obviously the remote. This puts the power pull up and down and you can adjust the speed as well. You also notice that the boat has the powder coat, the white powder coated package. This is all powder coated white on both the grab rails and the pulling platform. Down here you have a huge storage locker which this disconnects like so and you can literally take this slide it back in so if you want to get to something or if you need you know you need to get get in here and get more room that pulls right out and it conveniently, conveniently pops right back in. All right, so under here, you'll see that on each side of the boat, underneath the gunnels, you can actually house four to five rods, including a fly rod. So you're talking eight to 10 rods that you could put underneath the gunnels alone. Very convenient for storage purposes. Along with that, so here you also have three rod holders, stand-up rod holders that are stainless with a rubber grommet to help keep your reels protected on both sides of the console. So that's an additional six rods that you can add there. Very convenient as well. All right, so going back to the seat here, this seat is actually, it pops off via little snaps here, and this folds right up to conveniently get to a storage hatch underneath the seat. And you can see here, this is a great dry place to put, house different things such as your PFDs, uh, personal flotation devices, throwable devices, ropes, and things like that. And that'll help them uh, prevent, you know, from getting wet and mildew and things like that. One thing that's different on the 2016, 2017 models is they put this fixed backrest on here. I have mixed emotions about it. On my other Red Fisher, the seat flipped up and I thought, for purposes of maneuvering around the boat and storage and things like that, I thought it was more convenient. But it's very comfortable to say the least. And what it does is it just screws right in. You'll see back here. It just screws right in. You unscrew these and you could take this whole backrest off conveniently. Now here's a 20 gallon live well that'll help keep all your bait nice and fresh. It also comes with a 22 gallon release well. And this is great for you tournament guys. You want to catch, keep your uh, fish alive. This will allow you to do that with a nice strong pump. Moving back to this storage hatch. This is just another dry locker. 
this is where actually you used they used to keep the batteries but they moved them all into the center console and this is where the pump is for the power pole and so forth you could throw anything back here uh, that you want to keep dry <coughs> another thing that you'll notice on the 2016 2017 models is this huge access point for the bilge it used to be a small little circular thing so now when you want to get in here and you want to manage your pumps this is a nice rectangle that will allow you ample room to get in there and do your work so for you guys that are speedsters or you just want to know what the actual um, speed is of the red fisher 18 well believe it or not the 115 yamaha i got it up to 48 miles per hour with the three blade prop so 48 miles per hour is pretty fast now that's at 6,100 RPMs. Um, top speed, you're looking you know, between 48 and 50. If you put a four blade prop on, which will actually allow you to throw up, well, me and my buddy put a four blade prop on to test it, and I think we were pushing around 44 was the top speed, but it jumped up on a plane a lot quicker. So if you're in shallow water and you need to jump up on a plane, a four blade prop might be the way to go. And, uh, me, personally, I don't really care too much about speed. If I did, I would have put a 150 on here and you know sped around the river and the, the bay and the lakes but honestly as long as I get there somewhat conveniently fast if I show up two minutes late I'm okay with that as long as I have a nice great platform to fish off of uh, up here you'll see again the powder coated package that I was discussing this is a nice stable platform to jump up on uh, even when I'm using the trolling motor guys especially with the electric steer it's a great feature I don't really push pull too often especially in the bay that gets pressured a whole bunch but you could jump up here and steer wherever you want using your trolling motor here's the eight foot blade power pole this thing is great guys if you don't use them if you never heard of them you got to give them a try they'll keep you stationary if you're in you know shallow enough water it's way better than throwing an anchor getting your boat all dirty and again they'll keep you where you need to stay i'd like to add guys um you can also get the different color packages from the manufacturer um i think this is called the kingston gray and the white so it's a two-tone package but there's a whole bunch of different options uh, if you enjoyed this video please give a thumbs up share and of course subscribe if you haven't already and until next time, we'll see you on the water. Mm -hmm.